Good Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to January 16th and another edition of Inspired Thursday Thoughts. My name is John Register. Inspired Thursday Thoughts or Thursday Inspirations are positive stories, interviews, or thoughts that I've had over the past week that have inspired me. They are an alternative or a counteractive to the negative news we are bombarded with on a daily basis. Now, last week I spoke to you about appreciation and thankfulness because I was told that January is the month of appreciation and thankfulness. So today's segment will challenge us to focus on our appreciation of time. Last year, I lost four people who had significant impact on my life. The first was Mr. Pete Isaacs, the Army's morale, welfare, and recreation guru, who, through his leadership, guided the Army to increase focus on soldiers and families to include assisting in an increase to the service members group life insurance from $50,000 to now $400,000. He was also the first person to hire me after I separated from the Army, and I'm very thankful for him to adhere to the direction of his superiors. The second person I lost was Alyssa Rosen my longtime classmate and friend, and I had known Alyssa since seventh grade. We were in choir together and took driver's education together, and I was the only one to my knowledge who was authorized to be critical of her driving skills. Through our friendship, we were able to share our successes and fears with each other. Alyssa was known for her humor, her compassion, her loving spirit, her snarkiness, and brilliance as a communicator. While attending the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resource Conference, where she and others were advocating for the creation of this world's largest marine reserve in Antarctica, she lost her life in a scuba diving accident under the waters in Tasmania in the Tinderbox Marine Reserve, still on the battlefield for helping us learn how to protect our Earth from our The third person I lost was my mother-in-law. Now, this woman was a force of nature. She was not at all immune to telling it like it. T-I-S, tis. She was fun-loving, a provider, and a protector for her children, and always ready to lend a hand with the little she had. She had a spirit of the Apostle Peter. Be kind to everyone, but carry a knife. In her case, it was a thirty-eight. My last memory of her was her beautiful pet python wrapped lovingly around her neck. And finally, the amazing Samuel C. Hunter Jr., who was my fraternity brother, he was 94 years young and left a legacy that will be hard-pressed to be matched in this community. Listen to this legacy. U.S. Army Air Force, World War II B-25 pilot and cadet captain of its class. Of course, for those that know military history will know that this is part of the elite air fighting force, the Tuskegee Airmen. Later, he directed the operation of the Hunter Mortuary here in Colorado Springs. He was the first black real estate broker in Colorado Springs, and he pioneered multifamily housing for minorities by developing the Payne Chapel housing program. All of these individuals left an indelible mark on society, and they were productive with a thank and thankful for their time. Those who they left behind were thankful for knowing them as well. So their lives and the lives of others lost who were close to you beg the question, what are we appreciative and thankful about of our time? What time is it for you? Is it time for you to get off your couch watching daytime television and get engaged in your community? Is it time for you to go back to school and get your education? Is it time for you to write that book or write a wrong or create a habitual right? Is it time for you to forgive that person or is it time for you just to get right? Is it time for you to call your father or your mother, your sister or your brother, and tell them that you love them? Or is it time for you to move out of your own way to get on your way to your legacy? Is it time to sell? Sell your time to a volunteer in your community. Is it time to buy? Buy into your dreams or the dreams of others and help them on their way. Is it time to increase faith and decrease cynicism? Is it time to get in shape? lack of, or is it time to just shape up? Whatever it is, now is your time. Virgil stated that time passes irrevocably. Take some time to appreciate where you are, and then take some time to see where you are, and then get out there and take the time to go forth and inspire your world. Leave your legacy like Pete, Alyssa, Agnes, and Sam. My name is John Register, and this has been your Thursday Inspiration. See you next week.